Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to DIY with the Enfield Guy. And today we're going to be installing the sump guard on my Interceptor 650. You're going to need about an hour to put this on. You're going to need a socket set. You need some Allen keys. You're also going to need something to support your exhaust. Let's get into it. Okay, let's take a look at what's included in the sump guard kit. Starting off, you get the sump guard, the front mounting bracket, the right mounting bracket, a left mounting bracket, and the bolts and washers. At this point, you want to secure both header pipes and place something underneath the exhaust so that when you take the nuts off the exhaust, the exhaust doesn't fall away and damage your O2 sensors. Starting at the front, remove the top and bottom header pipe retaining nuts, but make sure you keep these handy as you will need them again later. Under the right foot peg, remove the side exhaust center fixing and retain for later use. This is where you're going to start to feel some free play in the exhaust system, so make sure that you do have it supported. While supporting the exhaust system, remove the silencer mounting bracket fixing, but make sure you hang on to these for further use. Using an Allen key, loosen the right hand side cradle fixing and retain the nut in case you want to remove the sump guard at a later date. Replace the nut with the right hand side mounting bracket and tighten to the frame only finger tight at this stage as you'll need to make adjustments along the way. It's important to get this right the first time so you don't have to come back and adjust it at a later date. Let's head on over to the left hand side of the bike and do that same process again. It's really important to remember here that you need to support the header pipe. You also need to make sure that you've got something underneath the exhaust to support the exhaust system so it doesn't fall down and damage that O2 sensor. Keep all the nuts and bolts handy that you remove because you will have to put them all back on to replace the exhaust system on both sides. And now we're finally ready to remove and support the exhaust system. After carefully removing the left hand side cradle fixings, take the left hand side bracket and secure it to the cradle by using the bolts that you've just removed. Remember at this point we're only fixing this finger tight as we still need to make adjustments on both the left and right hand sides and the front mounting brackets. Remove the front lower engine mounting fixings, washers and nuts from the left and right hand side of the motorcycle. Make sure you look after these as you're going to be using them to fix on the front mounting bracket of the sump guard. Grab the front mounting bracket and the bolts you've just removed from the lower engine mounts and you can now start to assemble this just finger tight on both left and right hand sides. We will need to make a few minor adjustments when we're fitting the plate for the first time so you want to have just a little bit of wiggle room left over. Okay, so we're now ready to do the first fitting of the sump guard. What you want to do is grab the fixings and the washers that come with the kit, go around and insert all of those fixings into the mounting brackets and just do them finger tight at this stage because we still want to make sure that it looks to be correct. So you can go ahead and do the left side as well. And then when you're ready, you can jump around and do the right hand side too. Once you're happy with the fitment of the sump guard, you can go around initially with an Allen key to tighten up all the fixings. You will though, however, need to grab a torque wrench and set it to 20 Newton meters of torque to tighten these up properly. Okay, so now we're ready to return the exhaust system to how it was before we started. Go around the entire bike, replacing everything that you've taken off and also consult your user manual to make sure that you're tightening everything back up to the specific torque for each part. And that's it, you're finished. Thanks for watching guys. And remember, if you have any questions at all, you can always reach out to your local Royal Enfield dealer.